Hey guys, it's MGS Warrior 2 back to give you another part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. And I will duel against Rex Raptor, hopefully for the last time, because when I defeat him 10 times, I will unlock their Relinquish Booster Pack. So, this will definitely be the last time I'm taking him on in a duel. So he summoned a Spike Snail. So it looks like a, I may be cruising to a win here. I'll set my offerings to the doomed. Let's see, and the monster I will play is Harpy's brother in attack mode. And Harpy's brother will be destroying that spike snail. Okay, looks like I have the power advantage as always. Alright, same old tactics from Rex. He hasn't changed one bit. Because usually when you face duelists, um over and over again, they usually tend to get stronger, but I don't know, Rex seems to be the same skill level. Oh, that's a shame. He's not even a challenge. So Shining Abyss is going to attack and hopefully destroy the defense, which is only the graveyard and the hand of invitation. And Harpy's brother will get a direct attack off. Okay, it looks like that Relinquish Booster Pack is as good as mine. Okay, what you got, Rex? So, alright, let me see what I'm gonna draw here. It's a giant True Nade, which is a card I'm not gonna need right now, because Rex almost never plays spells and traps. So I'm going to summon my Neo the Magic Swordsman, so I can uh, rally the troops on my side of the field, increasing my attack options. So now I get to attack three times, Shining Abyss will get rid of that defense first, Get rot got rid of that gate dig. Okay, so Harpy's brother. Inflict 1800 points of direct damage. And now Rex is gonna take 1700. I can beat Rex with my eyes closed if I had to. So I'm gonna complete my turn now. Okay, that will be the last sacrificial land that I'm going to take out and um, to take out uh, Rex Raptor once and for all. So I don't need to even summon another monster because he only has 1600 life points. So Harpy's brother, um, get rid of that li uh, little weak defense monster, which is Crawling Dragon. And I'm going to finish him off with Neil the Magic Swordsman. So I dueled a perfect duel. I have the Relinquish booster pack, which is right here. And uh, let me see what's inside of it. Let's see, Reliable Guardian is a quick play um, spell that increases a monster's defense by 700, uh, which isn't that good in my opinion. Snatch Steel is a pretty good spell card. It's kind of like Change of Heart, but it has a side effect of your opponent gaining a thousand life points every standby phase. So Taylor of the Fickle is another quick play spell that allows you to select uh, one equipped, uh, equipped card and switch it to another correct target. So I might use Snatch Deal, I'm not really sure. But I don't want to edit my deck right now. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering why Joey Wheeler isn't um, appearing anymore, is because I put Jinzo on my deck. So if you put Jinzo on your deck and 
um, Joey will vanish, but if you take it in back into the trunk, it will reappear again. But if you defeat Joey, I think, ten times, you can still duel Joey even if you have a Jinzo in your deck. So anyways, I'm going to duel Bones and hopefully beat him for the tenth time so that I could unlock the Thousand Eyes Restrict Booster Pack. And so this is going to be the duel that will be closing out this video. So I've drawn Jinzo, speaking of Jinzo. I will set my disturbance strategy and offerings to the Doom. And next I'll set my Needleworm, which is an excellent way to start off because I get to um, force him to discard the top five cards from his deck. So by the looks of his summoning of the Bystro Butcher, he will be attacking Needleworm. And that's exactly how I wanted it to go. And Needleworm is flipped up. And there goes the top five cards from his deck. So two bad bones. Hopefully you, you lost some good cards. Okay, now it's my move. I've drawn my almighty blue eyes white dragon. That makes me happy, but first I'm going to take a look at his graveyard and see what he lost. He lost Act of Despair, La Jin, the Baistro Butcher, and Magician of Faith. Those are good discards. So I can't do anything with Jinzo and Blue Eyes in my hand because I don't have a sacrifice. But what I could do is set my Maneater Bug so that I could destroy one face-up monster on the field. Or it doesn't even have to be face-up. And uh, let's see what Bones will do. So Bones summons Slate Warrior, which is a, a great attacking monster with 1900 attack. So he's first going to attack with his Bystro Butcher, and that's going to destroy Maneater Bug. And now I get to use Maneater Bug's effect. So there goes Slate Warrior. It can no longer attack me directly. And my life points remain unharmed. And, and that is a good way to go. So I've drawn Solemn Judgment. I'm going to set that down on the field. Let's see, I think I'll just play Disturbance Strategy so that I can have Bones reshuffle his hand. So hopefully um, catch him off guard there with any strategies he might have been planning with those cards he previously had. So I can't summon any more monsters, which is a shame. So I'm just going to end my turn here. So Bones compared to Rex Raptor is like comparing night and day because Bones is a, a very good duelist, unlike Rex. But anyways, I have to stop um, Rex from attacking me directly. So I'm going to activate Offerings to the Doom, and I'm going to destroy La Jin. The reason I chose La Jin is because I actually want him to attack me directly with Baistro Butcher because it has an effect that whenever he attacks me directly with Vaistro Butcher, I get to draw two more cards. And because of Offerings to the Doom's effect, I have to skip my next draw phase. So those two draws will be very useful and helpful for me. Because I'm really in a jam here. So I will set my Mask of Weakness. And all I can put on the field is the Unhappy Maiden in face down defense mode. But he activates Ring of Destruction, destroying his own Vaistro Butcher. So we each take 1800 points of damage. And I'm okay with that, because he also took the damage. So now I will activate my Mystical Space Typhoon. Which is a spell card that allows me to destroy one of his spell or trap cards on the field. And I, I guess I destroyed one of his traps which was Magic Cylinder, so that was a great choice. Well, that was the only trap on the field, so I had no choice anyways. So I can't summon my Jinzo or my Blue Eyes, so I'm gonna have to wait until next turn. So 
So Stone Armadillo was summoned. And that's going to attack my unhappy maiden. My unhappy maiden's effect is whenever it's attacked and destroyed as a result of battle. Um, the battle phase for that turn ends immediately, which is good if you um, up against uh, multiple attacking monsters so that you won't be attacked directly. So it's kind of like a Wabaku but a monster version. So I get to summon my giant red sea snake. Which will easily overpower that stone armadillo by a thousand points. And that's the exact amount that Bones will lose from his life points. So I made this into a closer duel. It's still anybody's duel. Bones is always a challenging duelist to face. So he activates Mystical Space Typhoon. Unfortunately, he chose Mask of Weakness, which is. Uh, one of my best traps. So he activates a spell card, Monster Reborn, to try to br uh, resurrect his Ill Witch. And go right ahead, I'm not going to stop you from doing that. Ill Witch is not a threat to me. But that is a threat when he activates his spell card, Gravekeeper Servant. Whenever I attack, I will lose the top card of my deck. So it's like a permanent version of Needleworm. And that's not a good effect at all if you're um, playing against that card. So let's see. Should I summon my Jinzo now? No, I think I'll just wait on that. I will set Magician of Faith instead. So that I could get back a spell card whenever it's uh, flip summoned or attacked in face down defense. So, I attack, I lose the top card, but there's nothing that could be done about that right now, because I don't have my Mystical Space Typhoon anymore, which is why I put Magician of Faith on the field, so I can get back my Mystical Space. I want to get rid of that Griefkeeper Servant, because I don't want to keep losing cards from the top of my deck. So now's my chance, I flip summon Magician of Faith. Give me my mystical space back. Okay, perfect. Now I can use it on Gravekeeper Servant. Now I don't have to worry about losing cards. Or decking out. Okay, so now... I can sacrifice my... Magician of Faith, so I can summon my Jinzo. And it's good to have Jinzo on the field, even though there are no traps on Bone's side of the field. Okay, Giant Red Sea Snake, attack that defense monster. And that was an Arlen way. A weak plant monster, so Jinzo, go for that direct attack on Bones and now he's down to 2800 life points so this duel is going to be over soon not if my emulator keeps pausing like that on me without notice so anyways let's see what else you have Bones can you make a comeback so all he did is, was set a face down trap or spell so if it's a trap it doesn't work because Jinzo's on the field so now it is over because I have United We Stand even if I didn't draw a United We Stand, it was still would have been over. Because if I attacked twice with my monsters, it would have been over. But now I just have to attack once, because I equip my Jinzo with United We Stand. So Jinzo, Cyber Energy Shockwave, and Bones is History. Which means I unlocked a Thousand Eyes Restrict Booster Pack. Let's see what I can pull from it. Minor Goblin Official can activate this card when your opponent's life points are 3,000 or less. Inflict 500 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points 
during each of his or her standby phases. Sounds like a pretty good trap if your opponent is low on life points. Oh, Type 0 Magic Crusher. I remember this trap card. It was pretty good if you have a lot of spells in your deck, because for each spell card you discard, you inflict 500 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. And Gravity Bind is also an interesting trap, because all monsters of level 4 or higher can attack. So only put Gravity Bind in your deck if you don't if you're not using Jinzo, or if um, you're not using uh, monsters of level four or higher. And Bite Shoes is a flip effect monster. You get to change the attack or defense of one face up monster on the field, uh, which is all right, I guess. And Garochin Kuagata is a decent four star monster. An insect with 1700 attack and 1000 defense. So I may edit my deck a little. I'll think about putting in Minor Goblin Official or Type 0 Magic Rusher. But for now, that, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. My Yu Gi Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004 playthrough. Comment, like, sub. And in the next part, I'll keep trying to pull cards so that I can unlock some more duelists. I'll see you guys next time.